Hello, my name is Goldie and welcome to In Your Element. All of our shows have been created to support your consciousness through these times of change. So please like, subscribe and notify so that we can go through these changes together. Today, we'll be addressing emotions that can lead to self-harming and provide solutions to support your mental well-being in your emotional body. When we're working within our four elemental bodies, our emotional body represents the water element and this will be our focus for today. All our tools are a guide, so do seek a medical professional advice on this issue. We'll be sharing three conscious parenting tools to resolve the emotions around this. The first tool is to set the intention to release the emotions, fear, shame, guilt and anger as these are low vibrational frequencies. These are the thoughts that may lead to your child to self-harming. Releasing these to support your child's mental well-being, improve the quality of thoughts and positive reactions to life. First, set the intention of what emotion your child wants to release. For example, guilt. Get them to feel that emotion in the body. Now it's time to release the emotion. You can simply imagine there is a big beautiful blue waterfall and it's cleansing the guilt from the emotional body. Say to them, imagine this emotion being washed away. You can physically do this with your child at the beach. Imagine the guilt is being released and washed away with the waves. You can also do this in a bath or shower and imagine the emotion is in the water and swirling down the drain. Invite your child to imagine pure blue water is from their body with peace, love and joy. Repeat this on a daily basis for best results. For more ways for your child to be balanced in their emotional body, see the Vargas video on In Your Element TV channel on cleansing the crown chakra. The second tool is colours, as colours have a positive impact on our mood, with each colour having different properties to alleviate different symptoms. If your child has experienced self-harming, we can use the colour orange for healing and magenta for care. Imagine these colours being wrapped around your child simply by the power of imagination for three minutes each day before and after school. You can also ask your child to wear the colours and the clothes that they wear, the towels they use, or bedding. Also, you can use the colour blue for clarity of the mind. Simply imagine the colour blue in the water they drink or when they're having a bath. Do this every day and note down the changes. The third tool is crystals. Crystals hold and transmute energy. They also help release subconscious blocks and patterns and help heal your health and vitality. You can either hold or imagine an amber stone crystal as it helps to balance the emotions, clear the mind and release negative energy. You can use the amber stone crystal in water play by polishing and cleaning the crystal or playing with them in the bath. Get creative with this. Please give us your feedback on how these processes have worked for you. If you have any specific requests or conscious ideas, please write to us in the comments or contact us via our website or social media platforms. Ciao for now.